I'm Brit. I'm gonna put some makeup on my face. If you would like to get ready with me, grab your cup of whatever you like to sip on in the morning. Get your makeup in front of you. Get a couple of brushes. Here we go. I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, nine products in front of me. We're going simple. I will be giving first impressions for the new Fit Glow Mascara, so that's gonna be happening. And I have some other products that are sort of in the works. All of these scorecards are gonna be up on the site. Follow me on Instagram if you really wanna know when each product is posted. I'm gonna start with the Suntegrity Impeccable Skin. This I just repurchased, so I was, I loved this stuff. It's a little bit heavier, but it has, this beautiful coverage that quite honestly is better than some of the foundations I've tried. SPF 30, I have it in shade, mm, sand. Did I already tell you I put SPF on underneath? Cause I did. So it's giving it a little bit more glow than it normally has. It's supposed to give more of a velvety finish and it feels very velvety. So I'm really getting double SPF and I'm doing that because when it comes to tinted SPFs, sometimes I don't want to use as much as the brand recommends to get the full SPF coverage. So I end up going with additional SPF underneath, but do you see how that just really evened things out? And then I'm going to use the Alima Pure Concealer. This is such a cool concealer. In shade Echo, it's sort of this like creamy to dry, not dry. Creamy on the hand when it warms up, but then when it spreads across the face, it just sort of mats down a little bit, so it doesn't leave that shine. It doesn't seem to crease as much as others. I have eye cream underneath, so that helps a little bit too. If you have drier skin, you're probably gonna wanna do that, but let's just pop this on. Just wanted to open up the corner, just kinda like, and some sleep. Sometimes I just use concealer without foundation on lighter coverage days. I'm not trying to cover anything up. It's almost like, I guess I'm very into things like canvas and paint right now because I don't know if you've seen it. I watched the Bob Ross Inc. Ross Inc. documentary last night. It's a little heartbreaking, but it's fascinating. I highly recommend it. I will have all of the products that I'm using linked below if I have full scorecard reviews for them. Those links will also be included, but I don't have them for every one of these yet. But they keep coming along. They keep rolling in. So this is also new to me. This is not new in general, but it's the Ilia Fade in Two setting powder. This has so many positive reviews online. It's Caraza. So Bob Ross, right. I wasn't really a huge viewer of Bob Ross, but he crept onto my screen now and then. And I remember watching him and thinking, actually, I don't remember thinking anything. I just remember instantly feeling calmer because of his voice. Spoilers. Well, there's a couple of spoilers, but you can kind of tell based off of the trailer, even though they say there's not a trailer. I had no idea that he had that much of an impact on the world. I guess I kind of knew, but I don't know. I don't know. I didn't know it was that strong. I didn't know people would paint and learn how to paint from him and it would help them in their personal lives significantly. So there were some really incredible testimonials in this movie. It goes into kind of the dark side of things where his business partners really just screwed him over and his family over, allegedly. And it goes into all of that background story. But instead of talking about that and focusing on that, which is kind of the juicy part, which you'll see it. He just gets a canvas. He teaches himself how to paint quicker and quicker and quicker. And it's just practice and practice and practice. He's creating something and really enjoying the colors that come to life on the canvas as he goes. And it kind of reminded me of the best parts of getting ready. I've used all of the initial products here to create the canvas. This is the priming, getting ready for the color and putting the color together and just playing with makeup. And it doesn't mean you have to use 50 products to cut the crease and do all the things, although that's wonderful too. So if you're like me and you're not a makeup artist, you can just sort of sit and kind of set your day and be in the moment. And I think there's something to that. I know there is for me, it's the one thing I continually do. And I've said it before, it's the one thing that I like to carve out for myself in the morning. So I'm not using makeup to cover up or hide behind. I'm using makeup, really for me, it's playing with color. I love the color. I know what's most popular here usually is when I talk about skincare or foundations and stuff like that. Really, I love just playing with color. So anyway, I had a Bob Ross moment. I kind of want to put on lip gloss, meanwhile. This is the Fit Glow Beauty Serum in B. It's just kind of like a light pink. So in honor 
of Bob Ross and not Bob Ross Inc. Please watch it because then you would understand when you're buying all those things who you're really supporting. It's really fascinating. Ooh, it's so good. I, I love movies. Do you love movies? I just love movies and documentaries and oh, TV is the best. All right, I'm gonna do a little bit of liner. It's kind of hard to do on camera. Ooh, I just sharpened that pencil. I mean, it's super creamy. This is the Well People liner and it's a brown liner. You can absolutely just use an eyeshadow for this and get a softer look. So I feel like we're almost done. <laughs> so fun. So I have the Mob Beauty palette here that I created for myself. I'm loving it. It has just incredible colors that I've been using since I got it. It usually takes me a while to work my way through a palette, but I've just been dipping my brush in all these colors. Speaking of palettes and Bob Ross and painting, it's like perfect. I'm going to do the kind of darker eggplant color here in the crease. All the technical terms will be listed below, but I just wanna have a little bit of a, I don't know, like a darker crease moment. Not too dark. Angled brush, easy peasy. And let me tell you, I, I barely touched the brush to my lid. The payoff on the arm here, nothing compared to the payoff when you actually apply it to your eye. This one feels like it has more color on it. Now I'm just gonna buff it out a little bit. I need a different brush. There, done, just a little. You know, just a little hint of something there made me happy. I will apply the mascara now. And I'm debating in my head about whether or not I wanna use this product with the bronzer here, which I love their bronzer. But I think in the spirit of showing you another new product, which is the Say Bronzer, which was, it's been interesting, I will do that. So first let's try the Ficlo Mascara. Ah, oh my God, really botched that. Ah. The noise it makes. I loved their Vegan Good Lash Mascara. It was one of the first mascaras that I tried and reviewed positively. So when I saw the new formula, I knew it was kind of coming too, because every, site was starting to mark down fit though. I think a lot of brands have just been rebranding, but let's just see what it does, okay? I used to love this for the fanning out. Oh, okay, and it's still there. The curved part of the wand seems to be depositing a little bit more. I'm sure they walk me through how to use this. Like I said, first impression over here. It's kind of getting, it's kind of, it's kind of a little messy but it's just my first time using it, so you just work with it. I'm literally getting this mascara all over my face. It's a good time. Do you hear the cicadas? It's so crazy to be back in the South during summer. You hear those cicadas? Really <laughs> brings me back. It's just like a Southern vibe, you know? It's, it's this is beautiful mascara. It's still really, really cool mascara. It fans, it's soft, it's flexible. I don't know about this brush, but it's again, the first time I'm using it. With mascara, you have to give it time. You just, the first out of the bottle swipe, in my experience, is never really the best. Although sometimes it'll surprise you. I really liked the acorn shape. I might like it better, but I don't know, again, I'll keep trying it. Yeah, this one just made all everything transfer to the top lid, so now it looks like I have extra liner on. There's a very easy way to fix that. Just use a smudgy or a densely packed, more like narrow brush and make it look like you meant to do it. All right, it's bronzer. I might play a little bit with highlight and then we done, girl. See, simple, easy, peasy. Not so simple, but maybe kind of. This is the Say, bronzer, it's this giant pot of cream bronzer. I don't use a ton of cream bronzer myself. I'm getting into it. I just haven't done it for one reason or another. It's not because I don't like it. This one I've tried for almost a week now. I just use a small brush, seems to be the best way to apply this. And this is definitely more of a warm shade. It's warmer than I'd like. It wasn't exactly what I saw online, so I was a little bit, mm, but seems to be very versatile. You think it's gonna go on real strong and it doesn't. You just keep buffing it out and buffing it out. That was just one layer. You see, it was like a minor warming up, which I think a lot of people are gonna like. A lot of people don't like as strong of a bronze as I like. I don't know where that comes from. I really think that that came from when I lived in Boston. I remember, I remember a lot of my friends would go into tanning beds. Oh God, so bad for you. And yes, I did it. I'm not proud of it. I did it only a handful of times, but I did it. And then I was always like, why did I do that? 
I was getting my eyebrows waxed and going to tanning beds. It was really cold in Boston. Hey Boston, I miss you. I love that city. I would just be so cold and so pale, but way too much hair, that I would want to look not pale. <laughs> so I remember getting into Physicians Formulas bronzer. That was my favorite one. At the time, I loved it. Now they have talc free. They're still around, they're still doing their thing. I didn't even wear mascara in college. Can we just talk about that? I didn't I didn't wear mascara in college. What? So I'm telling you, I just didn't get into makeup until about five years ago, <laughs> technically, when I started this channel. So thanks YouTube. Yeah. I just really got into the bronzer and it was always powder. And again, it was the physician's formula. I was always outside walking to class and it was cold. And so it probably looked pretty cakey and powdery. I just didn't know. And I remember one of our friends was like, What's going on? You look really tan. He was calling me out on my overuse of bronzer. But I still use it. I was like, yeah, yeah, it's just my, it's what my skin does. So I, I feel like I've learned a thing or two, which is good. Cream bronzer probably would have been a better bet. That probably would have been better. Moisturizing elements. However, this does have fragrance in it and they did not disclose what's inside of the fragrance. So as you could imagine, not a happy camper about that. Still, the finish is something I love. Full review, again, will be live soon. And I get a little pissy about that whole fragrance thing, but there's something else here. I, I have this whole tub and I wanna use it. Um, you know, I had a honeymoon phase with Say. I'm just gonna put this on top. And I'm not gonna say it's, Say. I'm not gonna say it's gone. At least I'm not straight up infatuated anymore where everything they do is good. I've taken the rose colored glasses off a little bit and I'm examining further. I get a little carried away with brands sometimes. You don't see me get carried away because I do it behind the scenes. That's why I test things for longer so I don't just go, oh, I don't know, I think we're almost done, but I kinda wanna play a little bit with highlight because I can. And this is the Ritual Defia Solar Flare Rare Light Cream Illuminator. They have such a cool brand. I'm shocked that they don't have refills yet. They really need to get refills. Sorry, I know I don't work for the brand, but it would be so great. Um, I feel like their products lend themselves to refills. There are lots of creams and highlighters that you see a lot of refill packaging for these days. I'm loving this one currently. I'm finding myself using it a lot. Because I didn't really use a foundation, I did have the SPF, which has pretty serious coverage, but if I had a clear SPF and I used concealer as the foundation, Sometimes I don't like the redness here. I just I just kind of want to tone it down. I will use a cream highlighter like this and it eliminates any redness that I don't want to see. Um, so I love that. And you know though, I, I, I like the highlight, but now I kind of want to add a blush. I'm getting into blush. This is when I start talking and start putting stuff on my face. So I'm going to use the Tower 28. This is the last one though. The Tower 28 Beach Please in Rush Hour. I also like to use this as a multi on the lip. You guys, it's so funny whenever I wear blush. I think this is probably why I don't wear it as much. My mom will be like, your face, it's red. I'm like, mom, it's blush. She hates blush. And I happen to live close to them right now, so constantly receiving constructive criticism. We'll say that. Guarantee you she'll say it today. Guaranteed. And then I go crazy. I go here. And sometimes I like to draw it up here and I'm just gonna do it for the sake of this video. I did too much. Uh, now you can see. Basically eliminated and canceled out all of that eggplant. <laughs> and that's okay. It's okay. Because it is very steamy, dreamy steamy out there, I'm gonna do a light dusting on top of this or else I feel like this all might just slide down my face. That'll just keep it. Semi under control, semi. That's what I did today. What did you do? What's your look? I kind of want to know. Did you use five products? Did you use, are you still getting ready? I want to know. Let me know in the comments below. And here we are in the natural light. I'm standing right next to my window, but I just wanted you to see how the makeup looks on in natural light because I feel like that's just important. See the glow. I muted it a little bit with the powder. That's pretty much it. Sorry for the air conditioning in the background. It just turned back on, but it's hot, so I needed it. Yeah, that's all I have for today. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Go out there, maybe have a little bit of fun. It's kind of important. I'll see you right back here real soon. Until then, bye.